Hi everybody! My name is Julie Jansen and I'm the front-end developer and designer at Powered by Search. Thanks for tuning into this video. I'm really excited to show you a quick tutorial on how to make your very own one-page website. So here's an example of what we're going to be building today. Alright, so I already have open my Sublime 2 text editor. I'm going to open a new document. I'm going to double check, make sure it is HTML. So let's go ahead and open a doc file. And I'm going to title my document, Watch the Cat Run. Now the first thing we need to do is to create all these different divs. So you'll notice in my example here that I've created nine different cats. Nine different cats means that there's nine different positions of this cat that are behind each div tag or attached to each div tag that allow us to show that the cat is in fact running. So I'm going to quickly just type out my div tags here. I'm going to put nine. So there we go. And then I'm going to copy and paste that one, two, three, four, five times. So nine times five is 45. We have 45 div tags. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so that is the basis of our site. Now we need to style our div. So let's go ahead and open our style tags. So the first thing I need to do is tell my HTML and body that I want you to be 100% the height with uh, zero margins. Next thing I need to do is I need to tell the cat, I need to put the image in the cat. Okay, so I'm going to get an image that I found online at andrev.com. Okay, there is actually nine of these. So each one is cats01, cats02, cats03, etc. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to say that there's a background image here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste the first one right there. I want to tell it that it's going to be 50% of the screen height. Then I need to say where I want the attachment placed. So I'm going to position it in the center. And I'm going to say I want it fixed in the center. So we call out that by background attachment fixed. And the last thing I want to do is say I only want it to, to repeat itself once. So I'm actually going to turn off the background repeat. No repeat. I'd like to go ahead and add each different uh, background element for each cat. Okay, so cat one isn't going to have it because it's going to be attached to cat. But we do need to tell cat one what background color we want it. So I'm going to tell this one to be FF006. Now we need to start adding each one of our different cat backgrounds. So cat2, scroll up here for you, cat2 is going to be a background image. You know what, I'm going to cheat, I'm going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to call it cat2. Now I'm going to copy the color and I'm going to change the color to 
something a little different. D400FF. Now you can feel free to make these colors any any choice that you like. So I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to call this one number three, and I'm going to change this color to something different. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue to do that up until we have all nine cats. So that's four, five, six, seven. So what I'm also doing here is I'm changing two elements on the page at one time. So if you're also on a Sublime Text 2 editor, all you have to do is click with your mouse and hold the command key at the same time. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the last thing I need to do is just jump in and add these colors. And then we're going to preview our work. So, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call it Running Cat. So, since I'm working with the style tags in line in my HTML file, I'm not going to have an external CSS. So, let's go ahead and open that. In our web browser. All right, so here is our new site. I'm going to continue to scroll, and you can see that everything worked perfectly. We have our running cat. So I hope this is a fun little exercise for you. I hope you learned a little something about how to build your own one-page website. Now, of course, you can make these div tags as in-depth as you want, and you can get as creative as you want, and as web developers, we are always pushing the creative envelope in our designs. I just want to summarize and say thank you for taking the time to learn how to use Sublime Text 2 as your editor to create your very own one-page website in less than five minutes, really. So I encourage you all to try this exercise. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to answer them or provide any of the source files if necessary. Again, this is Julie Jansen, uh, front-end developer and designer at Powered by Search. It was great talking to you guys today, and have a good one.